The acquisition of Delve has really supercharged the business. Um, we've seen uh, monumental growth from that aspect. Uh, the SaaS-based offering, it allows us to go into customers and really offer a workflow solution. So they get you know, everything from ingesting the content to managing and editing it, to building channels, to developing a player. So it's really a great full solution that we can go into customers that's built on top of the CDN. So we've seen that business grow just tremendously since the acquisition. So it is a competitive marketplace for players. Absolutely. Uh, how do you guys distinguish yourself and how are you finding traction with that? Sure, so two ways really. So the first is the integration with the CDN. So there's no real CDN out there right now that has an integrated online video platform. So Delve gives us that. And the second thing is with our acquisition of Clickability, which is the web content management system, we're integrating them together. So we're actually bringing kind of what's called total content management to the market. It's really sort of a first time solution that a customer could come and they could get something to help them build a video portal and something to manage all the videos within that portal and then manage it from a single interface. So it's a really great way to differentiate in the market. So tell us about the kind of demands that you're getting you know, from publishers. So what are some of the uh, solutions that they're looking for now? If, I mean, if there are some that come to mind. Sure, no, no, they're absolutely. So publishers are really coming to us now as a, they're looking for us to provide them an end-to-end -end workflow solution. So they're, they're getting really concerned about the complexity involved in video publishing. They're seeing more mobile devices and more formats and it's just getting crazy. And so they're coming to us saying, well listen, if you're already delivering some of my content, do you have some tools that we could use where uh, we could manage those assets, I could build a, you know, a website out of that, I could get it transformed to all the mobile devices, I can uh, insert ads in there, I can monitor them and report on them. And so that's what customers are really looking to us to solve, is these complex workflow challenges. And so everybody from you know, the Fortune 100 media companies all the way down to somebody who's just launching a video, you know, I, I'm just going to publish some video as part of my blog, sees the workflow solution as really the, the kind of coup de grace, the, you know, the utopia, something that's an end-to-end -end with all the pieces in it where they can, they don't have to buy servers, they don't have to buy software, they just come to one person and they get you know, everything. So give us a little uh, update on where that business stands and where you hope it'll go uh, this year. Sure, so it stands great. We've actually had one customer um, who will be announced later on this year at the Velocity Show who's used the entire suite of our services, which includes the web content management, the video content management, um, our cloud storage solution. So they've used all of it. So we'll be announcing them a little bit later in the year. And we're seeing a huge demand and uptick for this kind of solution. So again, every customer that we go in and talk to today, we're pitching this end-to-end -end workflow solution. And it's no longer really about, you know, do you want CDN or do you want OVP or do you want web content management? It's no, 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 no. Tell us about the way you're publishing content, about your digital content experience, and we'll figure out where the challenges are and we'll apply these technologies to help solve that. And just last one question on the CDN side. Tell us where that stands, uh, you know, demand, pricing, uh, how you're keeping up with video demand, just give us an update. Sure, so um, pricing wise, the compression we think is really alleviating. And that's partly because uh, level three is really taken away from the aggressive stance in the market. Um, we're seeing that's kind of bubble up, that customers are seeing value again. Um, and so the, the pricing compression is I think um, definitely alleviating. From a traffic perspective, it's going through the roof. We continue to grow hand over fist in terms of traffic. Uh, we've increased our overall network capacity to eight terabits per second egress, which is just you know astronomical. We see on average probably about a four terabit per second sort of peak during the day. So we're seeing again a huge uptick. Um, look at Netflix's numbers. So it's rumored that Netflix accounts for about 32% of all internet traffic during prime time U.S. So we're just it's not it's nonstop. I mean, the mobile devices are increasing it, but it's still just that traditional flash traffic to the desktop. Um, it, it's absolutely growing out of control.